Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce RTX 3060 Ti in Atomic Heart. This one is the Founders Edition model of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers as usual, and I am not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here. Tech Power Up GPUs, it has 8GB of GDDR6, and Resizable Bar is enabled. And over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and 32GB of RAM DDR4 Dual Channel 3600 megahertz cl14 let's get into it shall we let's go for the settings first i'm playing at 1080p with 300 fps cap which is the maximum you can't unlock it but you know it's 300 it's like it is unlocked basically we're using the atomic settings which are the maximum settings in this game i'll turn off motion blur because well yeah it sucks and <laughs> everything else is maxed out uh, wh what what is this? But they just, they, it had an update right now and they included this setting, but I have no idea what it is. We're also going to utilize some DLSS a bit later, but for now we're playing at the 1080p native resolution. Okay, and this is, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it's probably just loading something, I hope. <laughs> All right, it's smooth now, it's smooth, don't worry, guys. <laughs> also, the game doesn't have an FOV slider yet. I, I'm not sure if they will include it in a future update. I really hope they do, because this, this looks like 7 FOV or something like that. Anyways, let's start counting the FPS here. So this game doesn't go over 8 gigabytes of VRAM usage at the maximum settings in 1080p or 1440p resolutions, which is awesome. So uh, the 3060 Ti can definitely max it out at 1080p and maybe even 1440p with some DLSS above 60 frames per second and without much stuttering issues aside from like the start <laughs> that was pretty awful you know um, but yeah right now it's pretty smooth you can see some variations there in the frame time graph so it's not completely buttery smooth but you know to be honest if I disabled the frame time graph I wouldn't really be able to tell that the game is stuttering aside from those bigger spikes that happen from time to time but I wouldn't really say that these are gameplay breaking uh, stuttering issues like we have for example in Hogwarts Legacy with a lot of systems yeah this is much much better than that when it comes to stability also for the first three hours of the game it actually performs way better than it does in this area right here because well i guess we got a ton of vegetation around us and a big open world to explore now um, so it is definitely more intensive the first three hours take place in like a linear scenario uh, underground mostly so it's not as intensive whatsoever and it also doesn't really stutter whatsoever. So far the most intensive area that I've come across is this uh, and that's why I am benchmarking here. I actually played like three and a half hours before I got to this place uh, which is a place that I feel comfortable playing on. It's performing decently you know I've seen a couple of drops already from 60 FPS. Oh boy that's a massive stutter right there. See those will happen rarely whenever it needs to uh, load in more things, I guess. Oh boy, oh boy, this is one of those better robots. We gotta take care of him. Let's go, let's go. God damn it, the FOV doesn't help it whatsoever. Damn, I can barely see things in front of me. Like, the tunnel vision is so big in this one. I, I don't like that. I really do not like that. If you guys are prone to, like, any motion sickness, I don't recommend you to get this game, at least not yet. Uh, wait until they implement a, an FOV slider or something. It is definitely possible because it's an Unreal 4 engine, ti an Unreal Engine 4 title, Unreal UE4. I yes, <laughs> you know what I mean. So they they can definitely introduce an FOV slider. Should we move on to like DLSS? Because DLSS in this game actually looks really good, and I think I would actually choose to enable it. Frame generation, interestingly, you can actually enable. <laughs> which is weird. Uh, usually this is grayed out in other games, but yeah, it doesn't really work because you need a 40 series GPU. Okay, so now with DLSS on quality, the visuals are almost the same. It's slightly softer here at 1080p, uh, and the FPS are way better in some scenarios, at least look at this, 100 plus right now, that's really, really good. I can't leave this that, that loser. <laughs> Basically, dead people here still can have thoughts because they have some uh, chips implemented in their brain or something. But yeah, that, that one was called Dead Loser. 
Very interesting. I guess he's a loser because he's dead. Also, I can't really run in this game. You know what? I should definitely try to find the running or sprinting option here. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there is no sprinting option here. Uh, what a cute little bathroom. Look at that. Oh, wait, 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 buddy. But just come on. Can you go back down, please? Thank you. Can I open this? No, I cannot. It's getting around 100 frames per second, uh, even in vegetation areas, which is nice compared to what we were seeing previously. It's a good bump up in performance and it should be enough to comfortably put us above 60 frames per second at all times. So you should not worry anymore about some drops below 60. Not that the FPS were terrible previously, you know, but I saw it drop from 60 a couple of times into the higher 50s. So uh, a lot of people don't really like that you know but it's great that we can get this kind of performance with the 3060 ti um <laughs> in this game at maximum settings you know it's it's awesome i i totally did not expect this game to run as well as it does come on oh my god i don't know i i what am i even grabbing what the hell? Okay, maybe this works. Let's try to go around the house and get inside. Whoa! No! That, I don't think this is how it works, buddy. Like, physics are kind of broken here. Uh, okay, so this is probably not the way to go inside of, of that little room there. I, I have no idea what to do. Anyway, wait a second. I, I kind of... I'm curious to see the FPS inside of these bushes dropping into the 70s. This is where it dropped from 60 FPS previously, and now it is pretty stable. Oh, 69 minimum there. You know, if you are to have a, a minimum FPS, I, I think 69 would be the best FPS to have as a minimum. Okay, I think we, we yeah, we got the ticket. Finally, we can grab the train and get out of here, my friends. This is a very dirty bathroom. Yeah, also, we haven't seen a single stutter yet using the LSS, so it was definitely loading something previously, and that's why it was a bit stuttery at native resolution. VRAM is totally under control there, under six gigabytes of usage. I mean, even like a, a 2060 should be able to max this out. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough for DLSS at 1080p. 99 FPS average and 66 1% lows is the result there. And that's pretty damn good. Once again, no need to play with like balanced DLSS. Well, of course you can if you require more frames, but I think quality is the way to go at 1080p. And uh, feel free to max the game out without motion blur, please. <laughs> Let's bump it up to 1440. Here we go, 2560 by 1440 using the exact same settings. Just gonna disable the LSS for now. All right, getting 70s here. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I'm curious to see it down there. Let's take a look at the FPS in the forest areas. Okay. Just to see if it drops or how much it will drop to, because of course it will drop. Okay, 50s. Start counting the FPS as well. Hmm. Right, so at 1440p, you either need to lower the settings or play with DLSS because I think dropping from 60 FPS is not really that great of an experience in a first person shooter like this one. Yeah, it has some guns as you can see. Ooh, massive drop here. Just looking back. Oh wow, 40s. Yeah, that's that's not good anymore, guys. If it only dropped into like the higher 50s or something like that, it would have been okay, honestly. Like, it's barely noticeable whenever it slows down to those values, but into the 40s? No. <laughs> uh, I would definitely not play like this. Okay, just gonna go back to this intensive scenario right here. All right. Come on, give me those 40s again. Game? Thank you. Okay, 45. It's whenever you move. If you stop moving, it actually jumps up by a little bit into the 50s. Interesting, that's weird. <laughs> okay, just gonna go ahead and enable quality DLSS and compare it a little bit. So we're getting 49 FPS right there, or 50 or 51 when, whenever we were stopped there. And now we're getting 64, so that's a good improvement. Moving around still makes it drop from 60, so maybe you want balanced DLSS or something like that. Yeah, okay, that's really intensive. <laughs> Oh boy, also VRAM usage is still well under control at 6.2 gigabytes. At 2060 would probably start stuttering a little bit because it would run out of VRAM, um, but not this one. 8 gigs is enough 
for 1440p as I told you and most of the time I guess you can expect above 60 FPS it's just in very specific scenarios that it will drop when using DLSS and honestly this looks exactly the same <laughs> as native resolution like this is really 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 close if you're not seeing things side by side i doubt you can tell a difference between the lss on and off in this one aside from the fps boost of course oh boy all right this guy is a really um, strong bastard okay how did that have okay I, I don't know how i got here let's go let's try to fight this guy over here what the hell stop it stop the crap come on come ah uh, damn bastard maybe we, we should use this no doesn't work doesn't oh finally it's over all right Oh, I hope I don't come across these more often, because those were very hard to, to kill. Let's continue. So we're getting really high FPS here compared to the previous area. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering my life decisions at the moment. Oh, boy. <laughs> at the moment, maybe we should have sticked to the other area, you know? Hmm. You know, a sprinting or running mechanic would go a long way here, traveling these open fields. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, as soon as we see a little bit of vegetation, the FPS tend to drop instantly. It's not getting 100 plus anymore here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You chill down, guys. Chill down. Calm down, boys. Everything is fine. These actually kind of remind me of little Jack, you know. Jack of the future, my friends. Oh, yes. All right. FPS are starting to drop now into the 80s. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we will see another very intensive area like the previous one we've been to. Yeah, this is not dropping as far, which is interesting. This is a much bigger open area as well. Oh boy, no, stop it, Jack, come on. We, we have to be friends, buddy. You can't be like that. Jesus, that was a strong attack, my friend. Oh boy, All right, I'm just going to move this way then. Yeah, and go there. Please, please, can you stop, Jax? Whoa. <laughs> Calm down, boys. Calm down. I don't like to kill Jax, but I will do it. You leave me no choice, buddies. Let's look this now. Yeah, the difference in FPS compared to the previous area is just insane. 117 right now. Hmm. <laughs> I guess there will be a ton of inconsistencies in benchmark videos on YouTube, you know? You can be seeing like 80 FPS with 3060 Ti, but in a, another area, which, you know, is kind of a similar area anyways, you can be seeing 100 plus, basically. Did I move there? Okay, oh, this is... I thought it was a deep lake, you know? <laughs> Are you coming, buddy? What the heck are you doing? Oh, they don't die in the water. They're robots. They should die in the water, right? All right, so this, this reminds me of those balloons in Apex Legends now. <laughs> oh, no, we got a zip line. Also reminds me of Apex Legends. This is great. Okay, moving on to these fields right here. Is it more intensive? Eh, no, it's kind of the same, right? Oh, finally dropping a little bit from 80 frames per second again. I guess because of these bushes. Also, forest broken. This has some wind effects. <laughs> but yeah, I guess, guys, if you're playing this game uh, on the 3060 Ti, you're good to go. What the? Whoa! Whoa, it's so fast! What the heck? Oh boy, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? I am so confused at the moment. Oh my god! Did it die? I think so. No, he's right here. He's not dead. Oh, I'm not sure what to do. I'm <laughs> I guess we're just going to die, right? <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I got no power in my weapon either. Oh, Jesus. This is going to be great. How am I supposed to kill this thing with no ammo? <laughs> uh, should we axe it or something? Maybe this is the way. I don't know. Shoot it again. Oh, I missed. Okay. This, oh, this is going to be so bad. Oh, yes. Clipping into the ground. That's great. What is this? Those green things. Do they do something to it? Wait, wait, wait. wait. We need to see it. V. Oh. Oh, yes. This is how we kill it. What if we do this? No, 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 no. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Heal, 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 heal. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. This, this, I hate this. I hate this. This is the worst. This is the worst boss, boss ever. I can't even take some HP off of him sometimes whoa that's crazy 
I hate this guy. I really... This is Bob. This is all Bob. Bob's fault here, guys. Clearly. Oh my god, just stop being so annoying. <laughs> oh man, okay. Heal myself a little again. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, this is how we kill it. Okay. All right. Are you taking a look at the FPS, by the way? I am not. <laughs> so I don't know what kind of frames we're getting. Um, but it felt decent. It didn't stutter. And uh, yeah, I could definitely play like this. Let's turn it off for a little bit. Turn off the LSS. Just check it out at 1440p native in this area. All right. It, it's instantly into the lower 50s and probably going to drop into the 40s as well. So it didn't drop because we were in a more intensive area previously. It just dropped because, well, 1440p is too intensive, I guess. 49 right there. That was the minimum previously as well, right? Or 47. Pretty close. This is this is a good way to test it in, in this little fight. Little <laughs> fight here. Yeah, let's try it with balanced DLSS for those of you that really want 60 plus 100% of the time. I think this will do it. I'm starting to see a bit more softness now for sure. Oh boy. All right, buddy, 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 but attack this thing. No. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. You bastard. Goodbye, Bob. Oh, nice. We got him. We got Bob. It's not even dropping here, but I see a lot of pixelation in the explosions. Anyway, that was it. I didn't die. I have no idea how I didn't die, uh, but we made it. We killed Bob. Of course we did. Bob always needs to die. All right. Looting the bastard. Nero Polymer. 48. 25 metal parts. That is cool. This is actually very cool. Still dropping a little bit into the 60s. Look at that. Even with balanced DLSS. 67 there. Looking back at what we've done. <laughs> Ooh, 62! It drops quite far sometimes. That's interesting. Uh, you could still play like this for sure, especially on a smaller 1440p monitor. I think balanced DLSS still looks really, really good. Wow. And now we're getting really high FPS and we're gonna move into a, a much less intensive area, I think. So we should just move back. Let's go up to 4K. Why not, right? <laughs> Just for uh, some fun and uh, curiosity, I guess. 3840 by 2160 is now the resolution. We're still using DLSS, but I'm going to turn that off. And the max settings, guys. Of course, at 4K, this is not going to be good. Yeah, it's at 30 FPS. However, it is one of the most intensive areas that we've come across, and it's getting 30 still. Looking back at it, even moving, you know, not dropping from 30. So that's that's a good starting point. We still got the LSS, right? So let's enable that. Also, I got to mention that 4K is so damn detailed in this game. Like, wow, this looks great. Things at the distance look a bit weird, the textures, you know, but yeah, you can see every single leaf right now. This is re really, really nice. Okay, let's go. Quality DLSS. Probably not a good idea still at 4K. Why is it worse? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the first time I enabled DLSS and it was worse. Okay, no, it was still applying. All right. All good, guys. So we gained a good, like, 15 to 20 frames per second in this area by enabling DLSS at 4K. That is pretty good. 45 there, minimum, I guess. Okay. So it can actually be playable at 4K resolution. You just need to enable some DLSS. But of course, if you're playing at this res, probably balanced DLSS is the best way to go about it because it still looks really close to native resolution and you get 10 more FPS on top of what we got previously. Um, oh no, it's still dropping into the 40s. Could it still be applying? I don't think so. But can we get 60? Come on, come on. I actually played a lot of games with the 3060 Ti when this was my main GPU at performance DLSS and 4K resolution. And it actually looks really good on like a 27 or 28 inch monitor with performance DLSS at this res. Uh, I am using a 42 inch monitor, so I can tell that some things at the distance are a bit aliased and shimmery like that over there. But those are some minor things. It's softer overall as well. Like over there, yeah, you can definitely tell that it's blinking a lot and the aliasing there. But if you aren't really looking for those little details, those little imperfections, this could be a pretty decent way to play this game with 3060 Ti. 
But yeah, it still drops a lot in like worst case scenarios. So even into the forties, which is weird. Uh, but let's move on like this. If I was playing at 4K with the 3060 Ti, I would definitely choose performance DLSS anyways. Why is this all like this? I, I don't, oh my God, that was a massive stuttering. It's because it's loading the new area, definitely. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, what is that? Is that ray tracing that I see there? <laughs> Plutonium, and we got uranium on the other side. It's pulling some uh, chains here. I, it's just, I, I'm confused. Is that it? Did I do it? Like, I am so confused. No, 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 don't go away. Don't go away. No, 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 please. I don't know what to do. But I guess that's been it for this video. <laughs> I mean, the, the more important parts are done. 1440p and 1080p, which a lot of people will use with 3060 Ti. 4K, well, you can play like this, uh, but it will drop into the 50s sometimes. And at least, since we can't really progress into the story, I can't spoil anything to you guys. So you can play for yourselves. That's been it. I'll be back very soon with another GPU test here in this game. Probably gonna, like, group together some of them, actually. Like the 1060, 2060, and 3060, I'm probably gonna group them together just to see how they compare across generations and stuff in this game. Um, and then we can cover more GPUs in a shorter amount of time. So that's it for the 3060 Ti. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back very soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.